Hello and welcome to part 10 of the build diary. A uh, reasonably short uh, video this one. Uh, well, I've heard about other people uh, with their builds who, to save money on wood costs, have managed to reuse wood that were previously parts of other things or uh, parts of other build projects or DIY projects. Well, I myself uh, spotted some such wood last year and um, recently, uh, earlier this week, I decided to inquire if anybody actually needed it because it had been sat in the corner of our car park at work for several months and apparently nobody needed it at all. Uh, it was, however, quite large at about nine foot long. So I lugged it back to our building on uh, the other side of the site and stored it in the basement. And then when it came to tea break, I borrowed some of the uh, tools that we have around the building and shortened it in length. Uh, so it was nine foot long and I made it eight foot long but it's still, it was still at this point uh, too big to transport because uh, I'm having to um, ask my um, dad to uh, get it home hopefully tomorrow as of I rec my recording this. But so what I did do is uh, cut a bit more off it today and uh, that's what you're going to see next. It's uh, a whole eight minutes of me cutting wood, which I'm sure is extremely exciting to some people that are into DIY. Uh, so, uh, see that, and I'll be back.
and we are back. So there you are, that piece of wood shortened from uh, 8 foot long to 5 foot long, so it will now be uh, the right length for transportation. Uh, I think the old adage goes though, ta-da, because uh, there is, it's quite hard to show on camera, 3 foot of wood that I removed from it. And um, what's great about this piece of wood, it's hinged. So I can put it at a right angle, and uh, on that side, I can put the lovely round bit that um, fits down the edge of the box. So here endeth part 10.